Third base is the hot corner, they say, okay? Well, it's the hot corner on the other side, and we got a hot player playing third base, Keone Ruth. Aloha. Aloha. A local boy from the island of Oahu playing third base here on the island of Maui for, you know, the Ikaikas. How does it feel to be back uh, in the islands playing, bro? It feels great to be home. Um, you know, I went to Kamehameha High School, graduated in 2003, and then played the rest of my, you know, baseball career out there in the mainland. You know, I've been to college in San Diego, uh, played affiliated ball with uh, the Padres, and it's good to be home, get an opportunity to play in front of my friends and family, you know, yeah. a lot closer of a travel than, you know, than flying to the mainland. They can sure. just come right here to the outer island. So it's good to be home, play with some local boys, and, and I'm excited. We well, said Kamehameha High School, so I have a son who just grad Kamehameha on the uh, Maui campus. How many boys from uh, Imua Kamehameha happens to be playing pro ball? Do you know? Um, I don't Not know what's, many, huh? what's the what's the number, but uh, I mean there's the Sardina brothers that are going. There's a few of them. Uh, Kaniko Texera, who's actually a, a Maui native, he's right. he's playing with the Royals right now, I believe. Um, other than that, I, I'm not sure. I'm sure I'm missing a few, but yeah, it's a handful. What is it about the islands that where guys from Hawaii love to play baseball? I mean, you know, there's certain breeding grounds. You know, Dominican Republic produces a lot of baseball players. Would you say Hawaii's got a shot at breeding some good ball players as time goes on? Oh, definitely. I mean, Hawaii has a lot more talent than what what we've been given credit for. So, uh, you know, just just the way the Hawaii ball players play, you know, a little bit more passion, I, I believe, you know, a little scrappier. Might not have the the best size compared to guys right. out there, but I mean, the way we go about our business and we come to the to the ballpark every day and work hard, I think that that helped us uh, you know, to get on the map a little bit. Is it a hot corner for you down there at third base? Uh, it is at times, definitely. I mean, uh, it's it's a position that I moved over to. I was a second baseman most of the time uh, wow. with the Padres. Um, but, you know, I play a little bit of third base, so I got a little bit of background there. And, uh, you know, it's just something once, once, once you get your reps and you get comfortable there, then it becomes easier. So um, I'm feeling a lot better right now. You know, every ball player, you know, had a, a person they looked up to. Who, who did you look up to as a player? Because your last name is Ruth, for God's sake. W what was your, one of your heroes in baseball? Uh, I'm not going to lie. When I was younger, Babe Ruth was actually, yeah. you know, someone I looked up to. You know, when you're young, you want to hit those home runs. And, sure. you know, you, you see, you know, you see films of him and whatnot. Um, and I guess that kind of stuck with me being, you know, being my last name, Ruth. And so, yeah, that's something, definitely. We've been asking all the guys a simple Hawaii question, poi or no poi? Oh, poi with lomi salmon. Right on. Well, listen, congratulations on you guys' first home uh, town win. I appreciate it. And we're going to go for a number two, and uh, we wish you a lot of luck, Bretta. Thank you very much. Go get them. And we'll be going to be right back right after this. Third base.